Hey guys, God bless you. I sure hope and pray you're doing amazing. My my sweet princess, my wife and I, we're out here for a short cross-carrying walk near our home. And, you know, every time I put the cross on, on my shoulder, every time I pick it up, it's like a flood of, of memories and, and pictures that are in, in my mind and in, in my heart of experiences that I've had, people I've met. And today, as I was carrying the cross, one of those that, that just jumped into my mind is, it says, I was carrying the cross in, in Cambodia. Hundreds of people gathered around the cross and, and they wanted to know what this is. You know, for, for me and for, for many of us, we've grown up around crosses. And the cross is, is an ordinary, almost over-familiar symbol. But some places in the world, they've never, ever, ever seen a cross. And this was one of those places. This was one of those times. And in, in their language, through the interpreter, they, they asked me, what, what is this? And I said, well, what do you think this is? And among themselves, they, they spoke, and then they, they all smiled and nodded their head, and they said, oh, we know. You're a sportsman. You're just like LeBron James or just like Michael Jordan. Well, I had to chuckle, just I'm, I'm sure like you're chuckling right now because there's a lot of differences between those guys and, and myself. I said, no, I'm, I'm, that's, that's not what I'm doing. Have you ever heard of somebody by the name of Jesus? And again, they spoke among themselves, but this time they ran off to the little huts and houses, to the little stores, and they came running back with their hands on their knees and they said, no, sir, nobody by that name has ever visited here. Can you imagine? They had Coca-Colas in their little stores. They knew the name of LeBron James. They knew the name of Michael Jordan, but they'd never, ever, ever had seen a cross. They'd never, ever, ever, ever heard the name of Jesus. My heart broke. You know, statistics are right. There's somewhere between two and a half and three billion people who never, ever heard his name. And it's easy to think maybe television or radio or someone else is going to tell somebody. But God has given you and me the privilege of sitting on the front row seat of watching what he's doing. And he's invited us to come with him into all the world. I want to encourage you. I want to challenge you. I want to invite you. He's called each of us to take up our crosses, not wood. Wherever we go, the beautiful message of his love, of his hope, of his forgiveness, that he became sin so we might become his righteousness. Because he died, we can be forgiven, but because he's alive, we can know him. And there's a world waiting for you and waiting for me. Let's go, let's bless, let's love, let's share, let's witness, and let's smile at the rest of the world. God bless you and all of your family.